Let's begin in the Blue Gather books, number 469, Blessed Are They, number 469. Blessed are they, the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, full of sorrow, they shall be consoled. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you, holy are you, Rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, the lowly ones. They shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst. They shall have their fill. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you, holy are you, rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the weekday readings, we're changing now. The first nine weeks of ordinary time were from Mark's gospel, and now we start for the next 10 to 21 weeks. 10th to the 21st, we start with Matthew's gospel. And for the first readings, uh, we're now going to be reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians for the next two weeks. So as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, Let's call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. I want to use the prayers for the uh, vote of mass. For those who are persecuted, well, I can't find it. <laughs> Gracious God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is at Corneth, with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction, so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction, with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share 
and the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your face may not flush for shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. I want to share with you the uh, same passage of Matthew. It's from the, uh, the book is called The Message. It's a Catholic ecumenical edition, the Bible in contemporary language. Uh, I found this a few years ago. It's been advertised on relevant radio and uh, Father Richard Rohr encourages as well as Sister Joyce Rupp. So I want to share this with you. It helps to get inside more of the meaning of the Beatitudes. You're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and his rule. You're blessed when you feel you've lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that cannot be bought. You're blessed when, you're worked up, when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He is food and drink in the best meal you will ever eat. You're blessed when you care. 
at the moment of being careful, you find yourselves cared for. You're blessed when you get inside, when you get your inside world, that is your mind and heart, put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. You're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution. The persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Not only that, Count yourselves blessed every time people put you down or discredit you. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort and they are uncomfortable. You can be glad when that happens. Even give a cheer. For though they don't like it, I do. And all heaven applauds. And know that you are in good company. My prophets and witnesses have always gotten into this kind of trouble. It's called The Message by Eugene Peterson. It's a big, thick book, and I didn't want to bring that big book along, so <laughs> I did the photocopy. Let's stand now and offer our prayers of faith. <clears throat> Let's pray for all of us, the church throughout the world. May the Lord continue to bless her people and her good works. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all our civic authorities, may the Lord grant them wisdom and courage in defending the poor, the marginalized, and the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all of those who mourn, for all those who are persecuted, and for all who are struggling, may they be strengthened and consoled by God's loving presence, we pray to the Lord. And for all of those who have died, especially Jerry Wolf, may they rejoice in the eternal blessing of heaven, let us pray to the Lord. And God of tender love, hear our prayers today and be with us in our need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. These are from the uh, vote of masses and also the prayers for various needs and occasions. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It's through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. And Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us of our sin. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, through these holy things we offer you, the servants you have gathered here in your name, so that faithfully fulfilling their vows to you, they may serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, his auxiliary Andrew, the clergy, and all your faithful. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, her spouse, St. Joseph, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let's share with each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And with all of you at home, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you since you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. In the body of Christ.
in thanksgiving, let us stand and pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now let us go to glorify the Lord by our lives.